Miss Americana is finally here. All right, well, not technically here yet, but the trailer is here, and that's gonna have to satisfy our Taylor Swift cravings for the next nine days. What's up, you guys? It's Shadja Freeze hanging out here at Clever News, and the official trailer for Miss Americana dropped earlier this morning, and all I can say is, is it January 31st yet? Luckily for you, I'm here to tell you everything that we learned from the two minute trailer. It starts off backstage where Taylor is getting ready for a show, which I believe to be the 2019 MTV VMAs. And it's no coincidence that she looks exactly like Wonder Woman. The trailer begins with Taylor reaffirming herself that she is gonna have another great show. She's talking to her mom, Andrea. Just gonna go have fun. No one out there that I know of in the audience actively hates me. Not get dead face. Ready to do this? Ready, totally ready. Fans were happy to see Taylor's mom in the first few seconds of the trailer after news broke yesterday of Andrea's latest health issue. In a brand new interview with Variety was dropped online early Tuesday morning. Taylor revealed that the reasoning behind her decision to do a four day lover fest in America instead of her normal nine month long tour cycle. Taylor told Variety, quote, I also wanted to be able to work as much as I can handle right now with everything that's going on at home and I wanted to figure out a way that I could do both of those things. She also revealed for the first time ever that doctors recently found a brain tumor while treating Andrea for cancer. She said while she was going through her treatment, they found a brain tumor and the symptoms of what a person goes through when they have a brain tumor is nothing like what we've ever been through with her cancer before. So it's just been a really hard time for us as a family. Andrea was in remission after being treated for breast cancer for the first time back in 2015. And while Taylor was filming the Miss Americana documentary, they found out that Andrea's cancer had come back. It seems like her mom is featured quite a bit in Miss Americana, so perhaps fans will see how Taylor and her family come to terms with the news and comfort Andrea. In the past, Taylor has chosen to keep her mom's health issues away from the public eye. When she was first diagnosed with cancer, Taylor sent out a message on her Tumblr page saying, quote, I'd like to keep the details of her condition and treatment plans private, but she wanted you to know. She wanted you to know because your parents may be too busy juggling everything they've got going on to go to the doctor, and maybe you reminding them to go get checked for cancer could possibly lead to an early diagnosis and an easier battle. Besides that though, it seems like there will be lots of highs and lows that we get to see in Miss Americana, which comes out on January 31st. I think that this documentary is going to go further back in the life of Taylor than we even think. Promotions surrounding Miss Americana suggest that it follows Taylor through the reputation and lover eras of her career, but the trailer suggests that it even goes further than that. We see outfits and scenes that suggest that at least some of the filming was done while Taylor was still working on 1989, which came out back in 2014. But it's possible we'll get interviews and clips from even earlier. Because there's even a small amount of footage from when Taylor released her debut self-titled album way back in 2006. The part that interests me the most is the year that Taylor went MIA shortly after her tour of 1989 finished, remember? And before the Reputation era. Nobody really knows what Taylor was up to during that time besides, you know, leaving her apartment hiding in giant suitcases. Nobody physically saw me for a year. And that was what I thought they wanted. We also see Taylor and Brendan Urie writing her hit single, Me. Behind the scenes footage of the You Need to Calm Down music video and her briefly talking politics. She only recently started speaking out on politics by endorsing a Democratic senator in Tennessee as well as urging the White House to pass the Equality Act, which delegitimizes discrimination in the workplace based on sexual orientation or gender. In her interview with Variety that came out Tuesday, she also talked about this some more. She recalled a time pre-2016 presidential election when most people were happy that she remained apolitical and how that had to change over the years as she has grown and as the world changed around her. She says that her candidate, losing to the Republican candidate, who Taylor first described as a flagrant enemy of feminism and gay rights, was, quote, a bigger disappointment than not getting nominated for a major Grammy for her reputation era. She said, I think what's going on out in the world is bigger than who gets a prize at the party. But you know what else we saw in the trailer for Miss Americana? Joe freaking Alwyn. Well, a very brief glimpse of Joe Alwyn. I'm not sure how much he will be featured in the doc, but I really hope that we get at least one sit down interview with him or even a quick little conversation between him and Taylor. She's kept her relationship with Joe pretty private as well. There's only a handful of photos of them together and they've only spoken about each other just a couple of times in interviews. 
We also know that the documentary will not go into the ongoing feud between her and Scooter Braun and Scott Borchetta. In fact, when the feud first started back in November, Taylor said that Big Machine Records barred her from using any of her old music in the documentary. They denied her claims and she released emails from them which basically confirmed what she had said. But then later in December, Variety reported that Big Machine had finally officially cleared her older music for usage in the film. So I wonder how that has changed what we'll get to see at the end of the month. What do you guys think of the trailer? Are you on the edge of your seats? And what do you want Taylor to talk about in the documentary most? Let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section below. And then you gotta click that subscribe button for all the latest T-Swift news. And for even more from Clever, click this video right over here. Thanks so much for watching. I'm your girl Sinead DeFries, and I'll see you guys next time.